is a Sunday morning on the island of uh, Fayal in Horta. I am here for a few hours. Um, I'm only staying here in uh, Horta today and then I am going to take a ferry to the island of uh, Pico which is like 25 minutes away uh, from Horta with a ferry. There is not much happening yet. A few people here and there going whale watching and We are going to take a short walk in the marina. Horta has a beautiful marina and it's famous because of the paintings which are... There are like thousands of them. There are so many sailors and sailing ships because apparently the port of uh, Horta is built in a very strategic way so it's very safe and a lot of people who are crossing the Atlantic they stop on Horta and that's the reason why you find so many um, paintings in the port all these thousands of paintings which are here in the port of Horta so apparently there is a legend that if you stop in the port of Horta and you don't leave any sign or you don't paint anything um, you are going to have bad luck apparently this is how it all started that's a ship that's uh, coming from seems like South George There are paintings from people from all over the world, like Argentina, Finland, like just imagine the stories of all those people crossing the Atlantic or crossing the world. There is an amazing viewpoint about the city of Horta. It's uh, up here on the hill, right here. Horta is a very small city, okay? There is like, uh, I don't know, 7,000 people living here. And on the whole island, there are like 14,000 people. So it's so small, it's like a one big family. <laughs> I never came to this side of Horta before, like I didn't even know about this small beach which they have after the port. I know there are a couple of beaches on the other side of the city but I didn't know about um, this one. But it's very cute because it's with a view to the mountain which is in clouds now. situation so I was supposed to work today but you know you are on the Azores so flights here get cancelled a lot and uh, I ended up having a free day and instead I'm just like here drinking the famous uh, gin tonic from this uh, sailors bar but look at the view you can see the Pico mountain a little bit more now But let me tell you a cool thing, our office always says that it's important to do things in a luxurious way. So my excuse is, is that I'm getting tipsy, but at least it's with a view to the highest peak 
of, uh, of Portugal, I guess we can consider that as getting tipsy in a luxurious way. But let me show you this bar from inside, okay? Because it's very, it's very cute, it's very beautiful from the inside. It's like full of people, so I didn't want to be taking videos of them. But, uh, but you can imagine more or less how the bar looks like. This is apparently the best ice cream in town. This is the beach, which is on the other side of uh, Horta. The thing is that you don't really have much to do on these uh, small islands. When I was here in April, um, our bus driver told me that it was raining for like 23 days uh, straight. So imagine living in a town where there are like 6,000 people uh, living off-season. There is literally like nothing to do, yeah? It's not like São Miguel, that in Ponta Delgada you have uh, shopping malls and like restaurants and all these things. Uh, all these small islands, they are beautiful, but uh, yeah, it's not like São Miguel. There is still a little bit of life on São Miguel, even, uh, even in winter. Yeah, you have stuff to do, but over here a lot of things are closed in winter. Uh, a lot of things close even during the afternoon over here, uh, even if it's like um, peak season now, like August, you know, summer. So over summer you find stuff to do everywhere, right? Because if the weather is good, you just do whatever. You go to the beach and you just have fun. But in winter, when he told me this example that it was raining, but like raining, raining for 23 days, I mean, yeah, I think it can get a little bit depressing. Okay now, but this here is actually a pretty cool place, like back here you have Horta and you have Fayal. Back there, there, you have the island of Sao George and next to it you have the island of uh, Pico. So that back there, right here, is Sao George and this is Pico. And right here is the town of Madalena. That little town of Madalena is the place where we are gonna go tonight.